guys, Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable, comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. In this episode, we are looking at the Kodiak Canvas Z-Top Sleeping Bag and it is a little piece of heaven let me tell you so what's cool about this this bag it's a the one that i got they've got two they've got a 20 degree bag and a zero degree bag and since i do a lot of winter camping i've been out here testing gear all winter and it gets cold in fact if you watch some of my other videos it got down to 14 degrees fahrenheit which i think was uh like negative 10 degrees celsius which was colder than i need to, needed to be out in and the problem that I have is that I really am not comfortable with mummy bags. So I was using these military surplus bags and they're great bags as long as you're comfortable in a mummy bag. I find it constraining and constricting. So that started me off looking at, looking for uh, another winter camping bag that would get me down to cold temperatures. And I'd had the, I think it was like supposedly like a negative 30 degree bag by Teton like their elk hunter bag and that bag was very very warm and what i liked about it was that it was a square bag rather than a mummy bag so you don't feel so constrained and constricted and so uh that was that was a pretty good bag and it was very inexpensive it was i want to say around 70 80 bucks uh, but the problem with it and i'm not the only one who's had this problem i've since confirmed this with a lot of other people the zippers would snag really bad and the, zip, the fabric right around the zippers would get caught and you couldn't get it out. Like literally you could not zip it up. And I didn't, I'm 50 years old, I didn't need to be out in, you know, negative 10 degrees Celsius temperatures, uh, below freezing temperatures and have a zipper get stuck and not be able to close the bag up and freeze, freeze, just freeze, end up catching a cold and pneumonia and who knows what else. Just didn't need that kind of headache. So that set me off on the process of researching uh, to try and find a bag that would be both comfortable as well as warm and i found it with this kodiak canvas z top sleeping bag so let me show you a couple of features I i'm sure if you know you're in the market for this type of bag you have probably already hit the manufacturer website maybe you've even watched some other reviews so i'm not going to go into the technical details about this bag i will say that they offer it in both a regular and an extra large and the I, I got the regular i'm about six one and they marketed it as being for people who are six foot i called them up they were very nice and they said yeah you should be okay in the six foot bag and i am the the length is is absolutely fine uh works really great however i would probably recommend if if you're like me and you're looking for a bag that is not a mummy bag a bag that gives you a little bit more room to you know turn over in and roll around and stretch out um i would probably go if i had it to do again i would probably go with their extra large bag because it's a roomier bag and i think it's probably a little bit wider this one is good enough I'm not sending it back uh, absolutely love it but if i had my druthers i would say um you know i would rather like maybe an extra inch or two on each side for width so i had just a little bit more width but that's the only real nitpick well almost the only real nitpick the other nitpick is that the zipper pull on the outside here you can see that hang on the zipper pull here it is the zipper pull on the outside is the zipper pull on the outside is uh only on the outside and so i think if they were going to redesign the bag i would say uh, put a second zipper pull on the inside um that being said i absolutely love this bag and i'm going to keep it for the rest of my life hopefully i live another 30 40 50 years uh and this is going to be really my go-to bag now it is a heavy bag i think it's around i want to say 12 pounds somewhere in that ballpark and in addition to that they do recommend and this is the zero degree bag they have two a 20 degree bag and a zero degree bag um the fellow i talked to recommended also getting the quilt which goes on top and i'll show you here so this is this is the quilt and they they've literally thought of everything they have this here which will attach to here, let me show you here this goes over here and you can see it's really nice the canvas material on the outside and almost like a flannel material on the inside so this is the what they call the booster quilt and this will attach 
to uh, right here. It's got a hook, so this goes in here, and there's four of them, so you can have the booster quilt on top of the sleeping bag. Flip this around here. You can have the booster quilt on top of the sleeping bag and it connects in four corners so that if you turn over the quilt doesn't fall off the top <laughs> which is it was is brilliant i mean it's absolutely a brilliant design so you can use it with the booster quilt the booster quilt is extra i, I do recommend that you get it especially if you're going to be doing winter camping um the booster quilt is extra and but it's just a nice piece to kind of have most of the time now I, i've since i've had the bag it's only gotten down to 28 degrees fahrenheit which uh, I, I can't remember. I want to say it's around maybe negative two degrees Celsius. I'm not sure about that. I'll put it on the screen. It's only gotten down to about 28 degrees Fahrenheit since I've had this, um, which hasn't really been cold enough to use the booster quilt. So what I did was I just unhook it and I put it down by my feet to keep my feet extra warm. Didn't really even need it. The bag itself was warm enough. So um, what I really like about this is it is a roomy bag and it, and it allows you to go you know if you want to turn over on your side and go heels to butt you, you have the room to do that which is nice because it makes it comfortable so on top of that what's also cool is that when you look for a square sleeping bag especially a square zero degree sleeping bag the whole top area is pretty much open it doesn't doesn't you know enclose you like a mummy bag and so they came up with a design to fix that. Check this out. You know, hey guys, before I, before I forget, I should mention that this bag does allow you to unzip it from the bottom. Um, so if your feet, for whatever reason, if your feet get too hot or you just need that extra ventilation, you can do that. And of course it does have these here to roll it up. Comes with a, a bag for both the, both the sleeping bag itself as well as the, the booster quilt. And boy, this material, it's just, it's so nice. It's so comfortable. So much better than, you know, being on one of those slick bags where you're sliding around all night. So do I recommend the Kodiak Canvas Z-Top sleeping bag? Yes, absolutely, buy one. You know, if you're in the market for a new bag and you've got the, the funds, you can afford it, or you just wanna make sure that if you're in a very, very cold environment that you, know, you have something that's gonna keep you comfortable within those parameters, you know, base camping, um, overlanding, that type of thing, uh, car camping, this is a great bag. <laughs> As if you can't tell by now, absolutely love it. Hey, I'm Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell, and uh, share this channel with your friends because we're trying to grow the channel so we can buy more gear, do more gear reviews, and help you guys out as best we can in regard to what you should buy or what you should not buy. As far as the sleeping bag is concerned, definitely get one. <laughs>